I have to accept because for the past year, I couldn't accept myself for being sick and for being a heart patient. Guys, if you have any um, heart problem, take it very seriously because heart disease is not a joke. So. Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel and if this is your first time, welcome and for those who know me, welcome back. Well, today it's a very different kind of vlog because I've been thinking for a while uh, do I need to do this or not? Or I just gonna leave it behind like this? But then I was thinking that it is now a time to be 100% authentic to all of my viewers about who am I really? Um, a lot of you asking about me about my scars and I was just saying yes I am a heart patient but I was not ready to tell my story about who I am, really am and now I was thinking that it's not time to be fair to my viewers to tell you why I'm doing YouTube what was my story and why I had this a lot of scars so I'm gonna be 100% authentic I'm gonna be 100% real and honest to all of you so grab a cup of tea or coffee because this is gonna be a story that pretty interesting um, yes my name is Hannah I'm from Philippines and um, I am 38 years old and now I'm living here in Rotterdam the Netherlands and I am a creator and welcome to my channel. I'm gonna start by telling you that um, I am a heart patient. I was, uh, I had a two times open heart surgery um, because I had a rheumatic heart disease and in that kind of disease, my valve was affected and I had, I have now an artificial heart valve and also a pacemaker. Um, way back when I was a child, I was a very energetic. I was this girl that I want to do more and I think I am a superhero. I can do everything and for, for those who know me, I was just this all over the place. That's how energetic I was and I was very active in my school activity and for our barangay activity and I love to perform. That's that's what I want in life. I want to perform. Um, but then when I was in college, I was sick and I was diagnosed um, uh, for rheumatic heart disease and the cardiologist said, I have to prepare myself because I'm going to have an open heart surgery and it costs a lot and it's very dangerous and it's they are not sure if it's gonna be safe or I'm able to make it or not at that point of my life I was like seriously did I hear it right I mean I cannot believe it I am this from energetic and to being sick and I know at that very moment I'm gonna be a heart patient for the rest of my life and I said, what, what's going to happen for my dream? I'm, I know for sure I'm going to be limited for, for the things that I, that I need to do. Two days after my college graduation, I had the open heart surgery. Oh yes, first of all, the surgery was very complicated. And second of all, we don't have that amount of money especially in the Philippines, how hard it is to be hospitalized and especially undergo a heart, an open heart surgery. Luckily, I, I got help from a very special person. And until now, I'm very thankful and lucky for my family and for those people who are helping me. But at that moment, yes, when I was in the room, 
I was thinking from, I had the lowest moment of my life. I was crying and I was asking God, why me? Why me? For all the people, I have this life to live. I have this ambition. And then suddenly it's going to be 360 degrees. It's going to be from black to white to white to black. I was just broken down and I was in my knees asking God. I said to him, I am very disappointed because I could not understand why me, why I have to be undergo at this matter at this kind of surgery. Could it believe that I could be a heart patient? I could not imagine how how active I am, how but in life you will never know. So fast forward after that surgery, I'm very lucky I survived. And after two years, um, I met someone and he is from Rotterdam. Fast forward, I'm here in that's the reason I'm here in, in Rotterdam. That moment, my first year here in the Netherlands, I was sick again. I was sick again and I had to go to the doctor and the... It's another day in the hospital. Surprise, surprise! The things that you don't want to hear I'm gonna need another heart, open heart surgeon. I said, God, unbelievable. Again, again, I had to undergo again. And for me, it was very hard. The first, I can understand, it's hard to understand. The second surgery was like, bam, what? What are those important lesson that I need to learn at that very moment. My heart valve, again, uh, we have four valves. Two of my heart valves are was uh, titanium and again it was leaking and the third valve was also leaking. So I have two titanium heart valve and one was been repaired. At that very moment again I said to God, what is going on with me? Why again I have this surgery for second time? And that second time was hard. You are in this in this country when you need when you're learning the language or you're getting to know the culture and you're far away from home or the people you love. At that moment I was lucky my mom was with me. But then it's just like you're fighting again for your life for a second time. So I was like, okay, you know what? If I able to, to survive the first one, the first surgery, I will able to survive this surgery too. I keep my, my hopes and I said to God at that very moment, okay, I will not ask you why anymore. I'm just gonna say thank you for giving me this life thank you for for teaching me that I need to learn something so um, I promise myself and God if I able to survive the surgery, I will do the other way around. In a way that I have to accept because for the past year, I couldn't accept myself for being sick and for being a heart patient. In a way that um, I'm fighting for it because I don't want to face the truth about I'm a heart patient and I have to walk around with a scars before they put me to sleep. I prayed, I said, whatever happened, thank you so much. 
And if you give me a chance to wake up again and able to, to get through with the surgery, I will promise you I will do the things that I love. I will enjoy life. I will see the world in another dimension. I will love people and understand people. That was hard for me before. I will be kind and be more understanding for this life that you've given to me. Wait a minute. <laughs> So for those who are heart patient, for those who are sick, I want you to know that you're not the only one who's fighting for your, for your life. And I know how it feels to wake up every day, to bring your, yourself together and say, you know what, this is another day. We're gonna live this day, fight for this heart or whatever sickness we have, we can do it. Now, how is the life of a heart patient? And now I'm taking a medicine for the rest of my life. Every now and then I have this palpitation. Every now and then I have this panic attack. And every now and then I have this moment that I need to be rushed in the hospital because of my heart condition. I am not 100% free from the disease. I am, I am still a heart patient and I'm still dealing with my heart. Not every day. There are days that are feeling very well, but the number of days that I am not feeling good is, is more. And that's sad because you want your days to be normal just like other people i had a job a normal job um how i live my life i live my life i try to live my life as normal as i can I, yeah there's a lot of things that you need to consider in order to live a balanced life and need to be healthy and able to keep your heart pumping, to keep your heart healthy and alive. So what I said to all of you who are sick or to those of you who know someone in your family who are sick, I want you to know guys that you're not the only one who has been scared sometimes when you sleep at night and you're not able, you have the feeling that you're gonna die and you're not gonna wake up in the morning and you are like, God, please, this is not, hope this is not the last, the last night in my life because I want to see my family, I want to do this and, and there's so much, so much life to live. And then I realize in the long way for all that I've been through that what I had as a heart surgery, it's a blessing. It's a blessing in a way that God and the universe teach you what matters in life of course until now i am not perfect i will not i am still learning about life i'm enjoying life i'm still learning about my heart condition about my sickness and just like you you're fighting for your life and you want to get well we are all have this feeling it's a gift because i see life in a different way i see I understand life in a very beautiful way that life is so precious that life must not be wasted life must be celebrated life must be shared for those people you love and every moment you have in your life you have to be grateful especially when you wake up in the morning and you're still alive Compare for those people who wake up in the morning who have a lot of pain. You are healthy. I know I am a heart patient, but I know somewhere out there, there are people who are suffering and who've been needing a lot of medical care than me. So, I had this moment in my life that 
ayat that comes to surrendering. When you surrender, you accept. You appreciate the people around you. You love the people that you love the most. And, and you will tell them how much you love them. Because maybe tomorrow you will not able to, to say it. And to make it feel for them. Uh, it comes to the degree that I, why I'm in YouTube. I am not a great singer. No, I'm not. But I want to sing and I love to sing and that is one way back when I had that surgery and I promised God I will do the things that I love whatever the whatever happened I YouTube scared the shit out of me but then because for the love of music I want to share my talent I want to share my voice I want to sing and I want to sing to all of you for those who love music and celebrate life with music. I'm doing this and telling you that I am a heart patient, but still, I did not make this an excuse not to do the things that I love to do. So I promised to myself, you know what? Life is too short not to sing. Life is too short not to to share your talents so that is also the reason why i'm here in youtube encouraging you whoever who is watching that whatever you have in life whether you're sick or you're not sick do the things you love sing to the top of your lungs it doesn't matter if people do the thumbs down that is not their life it's you what matter is how you see yourself, how you feel about it. Are you happy for it? Are you happy to share it? Because that's how I feel when I grab the camera and I start singing and start uploading. I said to myself, oh, I did something. Today it matters because I able to share my talent. And even though not everyone like it, not, of course you cannot please everyone, but then you did it. You did it because you're passionate about it. You don't need to do YouTube like I do. Just do the things you love. Do the things that make you scared and that challenge you. Dare to dream. And most of all, live while you're alive. So guys, whatever you have in your life, whether you're sick or not, do the things you love, celebrate life. And this way, I celebrate my life with music. I celebrate my life with vlogging and encouraging you that it's not too late and don't let your sickness pull you behind and not enjoying the life that you wanna be, you, you wanna enjoy. Once again, thank you so much for watching and this is such a very uh, personal vlog this is such a personal per for me and very intimate in sharing it with you if you have any questions about um, me as a heart patient you're always welcome if you know someone who need help and who can be uplifted by just singing sharing your story and share this to share this video to those who who need to hear it that um, even though it's hard in life we keep in fighting we keep in living live the life you love love the life you live and be proud of your scars wherever you are be proud of your scars because scars are a testament that you are alive and you are a survivor. This is Rise Up from Andra Day. It's another day in the hospital for the heart patient like me. Guys, if you have any um, heart problem, Take it very seriously because 
heart disease is not a joke. So, and take care of your heart, take care of yourself, eat healthy, and stay away in a very warm... You've broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. You can find the fighter, but I see in you so we can walk it out. Move, mountain, we can walk it out. Move, mountain, and I rise up, I rise like a day, I rise up, I rise unafraid. I and I do it a thousand times again And I rise up high like the waves I rise up in spite of the ache I rise up and I do it a thousand times again For you, for you, for you for you, all we need, all we need is hope, and for that we have each other, and for that we have each other, we will rise, we will rise, we will rise, oh, we will rise. Arise like a day, arise up In spite of the ache, arise up And I do it a thousand times again For you, for you, for you, for you Thank you for watching.